Political leaders across Japan have taken to the streets to try to appeal to voters. They've kicked off their campaigns for the upper house election set for July 10th. Candidates are debating economic policies, new national security laws, and the idea of amending the constitution. I thought I must launch my election campaign from Kumamoto. I thought I will convey to the entire nation our commitment to rebuilding Kumamoto after the earthquakes. The key issue of this election is economic policy. Opposition party members cannot open their mouths without criticizing. All they say is Abenomics has failed. This fight is about whether to advance or retreat. Are we going to vigorously push forward Abenomics to see Japan grow and each region prosper, to create a country where everyone can feel the economy is picking up? Or will we go back to four years ago? Are we going to return to that dark and sluggish period? This is the decision you're making in this election. We'll bring the Abe administration's reckless drive to an end and change the political landscape. If we allow the parties that want to change the constitution to get two-thirds of the seats, they're certain to push the changes through, especially to Article 9. They want to allow Japan to exercise the right to collective self-defense without any limits. We should not allow the Japan-US alliance to be forged in blood. Many young people are not seeing their salaries increase, and they're giving up on marriage, even people in their 30s and 40s. It's a reality in Japan. The government should pursue economic policies to balance development and a fairer distribution of wealth. Abe's government says it will expand the economy, and then the wealth will trickle down to the people. But Abenomics is the wrong direction for Japan. We have delivered results steadily over the past three years, aiming at reviving the economy and ending deflation. Tax revenue has increased. It's important to distribute the outcome achieved by the coalition government to those people yet to benefit from Abenomics. We cannot hand the administration to the Democratic and Japanese Communist parties. They are fielding unified candidates with no clear explanation of their responsibilities after the election. The four parties are brought together in the common cause of abolishing the security laws and restoring constitutionalism. To put it simply, we need to restore a proper government that adheres to the constitution. This should be the utmost priority and we should put policy differences aside. We are questioning the Abe administration, which goes against public opinion. Stingy is the key word. We're being stingy at the Osaka prefectural and city governments so as not to waste a single pencil or a piece of paper. It's natural in Osaka. If we can do small things like that across the country, there will be no need to increase taxes. On the issue of politics and money, we want to review the political funds control law, which has loopholes. This upper house election is about stopping reckless Abe politics, which don't follow the constitution and also fail to consider people's lives and their livelihoods. Through the pacifist constitution that our party has made use of and has protected, let's aim for a country that won't go to war. If the prime minister keeps trying to rev up and pursue Abenomics, it will put the country's future and people's lives at risk. Bearing that thought in mind, opposition parties should unite. Our first objective is to replace the Prime Minister. The Constitution itself should express the character of Japanese people. It should reflect Japanese traditions and the Japanese spirit. We should build a nation that is seen as trustworthy and amicable by the international community.
You can't just take Abenomics and rev up its engine to create success. If we want to solve real problems, we have to turn the wheel and steer in the direction of real people and their households. Half of the 242 upper house seats are at stake every three years. They are divided between electoral districts and a proportional representation system. NHK has learned that 225 people are running for the electoral districts and 164 people for proportional representation. Here's a look at the parties and political groups fielding candidates for electoral districts. Liberal Democratic Party, Democratic Party, Komeito, Japanese Communist Party, Initiatives from Osaka, Social Democratic Party, Party for Japanese Kokoro, New Renaissance Party, Genzei Nippon, Happiness Realization Party, Angry Voice of the People, Shijiseito Nashi, Other Groups, Independence. And now, here are the parties and political groups vying for proportional representation seats in order of entry. Social Democratic Party, Angry Voice of the People, Initiatives from Osaka, Komeito, Japanese Communist Party, Happiness Realization Party, Liberal Democratic Party, New Renaissance Party, Party for Japanese Kokoro, People's Life Party, Democratic Party, Shijiseito Nashi. The official campaign runs for 18 days. Prime Minister Abe says that his ruling bloc aims to win a majority of seats contested this time. That's 61 of the 121 seats up for grabs.